everybody, DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some Dose, baby. Hashtag Farm Some Dose. Today, we got 73 mods on the testing list. We're going to talk about why the Ivy Co truck is not on consoles. And we got 10 modders to talk about, including Custom Modding's Challenger. Ooh, check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing list, which is up to 73 mods from the 58 that we had yesterday. Of those 73, 64 of them are for PC and 9 are for console. Some notable mods in PC testing today include Advanced Farm Manager, Case IH RB455, RB465, and the Chevrolet Lizard Brazil. Also in testing, we have the Exacta U 3-point scale, Grain Quid Pro, and the John Deere 8000 series tractor from JA Modding. Lastly in testing, we have the Lieber L538, Lizard 320 Excavator, Slip Destroys Fields, and the Wazi DE5551. Yep, there it is. Maps and PC testing right now include Bakuri Farm 2K22, Black River, Frankenmuth Farming Map Update, Jiminine, Talbao, Hickory Valley, Hillaby Creek, Medvedin, and Timber Valley. Mods and console testing today include the AgriLiner PWO Pack, Case Puma 145 CVX Tier 3, Concrete Bunker Set U, Farmhouse Loader, John Deere 5060 STS Series. I know you guys want to see that. The Junkari J16, J18. Those actually came out yesterday. Lizard T2000, Magzi Tool Pack, and the Modular BGP. There are no maps in console testing today. With all that being said, we still have 109 mods sitting waiting to be tested, which is down from 113 yesterday, but about the same. And the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is also the same at four work days. Speaking of yesterday, a truck released on the mod up that we thought was going to be for all platforms, the Ivico 19048 from Pepe978. The truck was only released on PC due to Giants not having the licensing for Ivico anymore. Therefore, Pepe will be creating a Fiat version, as that's the type of engine the truck has, and that version will be released for all platforms once it passes testing so don't worry the truck will be coming to consoles it just may take a little bit more time that's all custom modding shows off more work on their challenger mt 800 series for all platforms today showing even more detail on the 3d model including the frame the engine tracks interior and even the seat the mod is almost ready for textures right now as well, and it's still a good ways out, but they're making quick work of it. Hispana Modding's Lizard T2000 has passed PC testing and entered console testing early this morning. We've been talking about this truck for what feels like months now, and we're getting closer to seeing it. If this is your first time hearing about it, the truck is based off of the Kenworth T2000 semi-truck and will be for all platforms, as it is Lizard branded, so no Kenworth icons on this one, unfortunately. We also get to see some more shipping containers from him. We got the 20 foot, the 25 foot, and we even get to see that massive 40 foot tipper. Oh, these are gonna hook onto the back of special trailers via the Lizard Cranes SMV. It can be used as an alternative to regular tippers on semi-trucks. I think this is really neat and it's really cool that he's making this mod pack for all platforms as well. 82 Studios TLX 2020 series update may not have been on the testing list today, but it's actually in console testing right now and with some great quality of life improvements as well. The first one being that it will support up to six players in the truck. You got two inside the cabin, which we've already got, and then four sitting on the truck bed. This does require the Kubota TLC, so heads up there. We will also be getting a new set of tires, stability improvements when driving with no truck bed, and other tweaks and fixes. Stay tuned for the official changelog once the mod is released. North Bonnie Company are back with us today, showing off even more screenshots of their Lizard Excavator map, which, since yesterday, has officially been submitted for testing for all platforms. Each mat is going to cost you $1,100. They've got base color configurations, which we have yet to see, and can be purchased with or without the wire, which is used to help move it around. In these screenshots, they show off the mod being used as a bridge in combination with like three or four of them to get across the waterway, but the uses are kind of endless if you just use your imagination a little bit. You can use it with other things as well, but it's made specifically to be paired with the 320 excavator. JA Modding's Case IH Fast Riser 6161 Planter has made its way from PC testing to console testing this morning, of course, after the testing list was released naturally. Uh, originally sent in about three weeks ago, this is going to be one of the largest implements in the game once it's released. Not just planter, not just cedar, but thing in the game. It went through all the preliminary tests back in Farming Simulator 19, and I even made a video on it, if you remember that, but it never found its way onto the mod hub. Well, in 22, that's changing. If you've been running Custom Modding's early riser planters, this is going to pair really well with those and gives you even more flexibility on your farm. 
your red farm by that. Uh, imagine pulling this behind a 9R. Ooh, uh, you know I'm getting one of these on Stone Valley too, so don't even worry about that. JHHG Monning and Sid Monning update us on the progress of their Tchaikovsky Upper Arapasova mods to date as they did fail testing with Giants a second time. There were a few issues, but those have been fixed and the mods have already been sent back for testing. JHHG does mention specifically that there was no response about licensing for all platforms, but the paperwork from Tchaikovsky has been filled out, so there's a really good chance of a new brand coming to Mod Hub. They are hopeful for release this time around testing, and I am as well. I've already done a video showing off these mods, so if you haven't seen that already, make sure you check it out. Link below in the description. The SMI modding team has one more mod to announce, as they said they would this week. The Crisoni Compact Header. This is a mod they had back in Farming Simulator 19, and it's back. The Crisoni Compact 10. It's going to cost you $80,000. It's got a working width of 7.8 meters at 6 miles per hour or 10 kilometer per hour working speed, and you've got different color options as well. In Farming Simulator 19, it had different attachment options too, and I figured those are going to be coming back. Shown here with the Ideal Harvester, but I'm sure it'll work with any harvester you attach to just fine. This was also a mod for all platforms then, bringing Crisoni into the game as a new brand, so hopefully the same thing happens in 22. Ada Modding is back with us with a new project in the early stages, the Agriliner Saiga Duo. This is a double axle dolly used for, well, whatever you need a dolly for. It doesn't have any specific information yet, at least not to date, but I'm sure we'll be getting some soon. Caster Modding has a picture of the 21 pieces coming with the Planet Modular BGA system and says the mod pack has already been submitted for testing for all platforms. We will be getting different things to make your BGA the perfect one for you. And just in time for the Pumps and Hoses DLC as well. Paired with that, you're going to be able to make your very own BGA city almost. You can also just delete the BGA on your favorite map and rebuild it using only the parts that you need. How cool is that? And lastly, a few days ago, Paint of Farm Modding shared this screenshot with us, and the community started to buzz about what it could be. Well, leave it up to Yoast to send me the answer. It's for an isobus system. This is basically an electrical system that works between tractors and implements. Logo here indicates the universal terminal, basic tractor ECU, auxiliary control, task control basics, Task Control Geo-based, Task Controller Section Control, and Tractor Implement Management. These are just some of the bits of an ISOBUS system, and honestly, it's a little bit over my head as it's an IRL thing and not in-game, but I'm sure there's some of you out there that understand the system way better than I ever could, so feel free to share your knowledge with us in the comments section. I'm also interested to see how Kim is going to be planning on implementing this in Farming Simulator 22, if that is the case. No matter what, I'm excited to see how it's going to work. Just like you were probably wondering how the self-aware segue to the outro was going to work today. Well, you take a bit of peanut butter and put it on some bread, add some jelly, and that's it. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. No release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, it just simply means that there's no new information on that topic today at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on the world of farming simulator well guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel with that hope you have a great day we will see you later Bye. We'll be heading out of town this weekend, but we're still doing the farm sim show today from my hotel room, and I got banger videos all weekend.